so today we'll see how to uh, simulate this schematic now go to tools simulation spice write spice rig so as i said uh, lt spice window will appear in case uh, lt spice window is not appearing and you see some error over here uh, go to files uh, preferences and remember we had copied this line so now instead of copying this first line just copy the second line and paste it here and then apply ok uh, that should work and if, if, if that's not the error and if you are still not able to uh, open the LT spice and see your waveform just email me with your error screenshot of your error uh, maybe I could help you so uh, now your window has appeared uh, right click on it visible trace v in and v out ok so you can just separate this by right click then uh, add plot pane click on this v in and drag it here that's it so you can see our v in is 0 as we are given and our V out is 5 volt so now let's see when we give 5 uh, in our for our input voltage visible traces V in V out ok add plot pane so here it is V in is 5 volt and V output is 0 so in case if you wanna uh, see all the uh, 5 and 0 is in one waveform suppose if you wanna give a pulse kind of waveform just uh, click on this uh, uh, spice code then press ctrl i and here you can edit it so right piecewise linear pwl then 10 nanoseconds it's gonna be 0 20 nanoseconds it's gonna be 5 then till 40 nanosecond it's gonna be remain 5 then at 50 nanosecond it's gonna come down to 0 then, so, then till 70 nanosecond it's gonna remain 0 and at 80 nanosecond it again gonna go to 5 so then apply ok tools and so visible traces v in so this is our input till 10 nanoseconds 0 at 20 nanosecond goes to 5 at 40 nanosecond it's, it's 5 at 50 nanosecond it's come down to 0 10 till 70 it remains at 0 and at 80 it again goes to 5 and uh, since we had mentioned a transient analysis from 0 to 100 it is uh, simulating it till 100 now let's see our output waveform see it's correct so when our input is 0 our output is high when input is high our output is 0 ok friends so that's how our inverter works and in next tutorial I'm gonna teach you how to create a layout in electric so if you're gonna make an inverter layout in the next tutorial hope to see you guys there till then bye bye